Put your money in this powerful sand and see what happens to you. See what happens. Check your bank account. This psalm is a very powerful psalm that you're going to pray with and put your money inside. And you will see financial favor in your life. There is one good thing about this psalm is that. There is one good thing about this psalm. Whenever I put my money here, the money I get is basically free money. Not just like the money you have to work and work and work. Free money. But God can decide to bless you through your work or your efforts. So that does not mean you should stop working. God always frowns at a lazy person. You're always doing nothing serious. You need to be hard working. Okay? So with that being said, you are most welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. May God bless you. Please subscribe and make sure the bell notification is turned on. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. So what you are going to do is that you're going to get out your money. This is 1,000 in Nigeria currency. Take out your money from any other country, whichever currency. But make sure the money is in use. If you are in Nigeria, do not use coin because coin is out of use. So get your money and you're going to get your Bible. Open your Bible to Psalm 130. Raise your money up and read this scripture. Raise your money up and read this scripture. From the depths of my despair, I call to you, Lord. Hear my cry, O Lord, listening to my call for help. If you kept a record of our sins, who could escape being condemned? But you forgive us so that we should stand in awe of you. I wait eagerly for the Lord's help, and in his word I trust. I wait for the Lord more eagerly than watchman waits for the dawn, than watchman wait for the dawn again. Israel trusts in the Lord because his love is constant, and he is always willing to save. He will save his people, Israel, from all their sins. I'm using the good news version, please. You must not have this. Use any version of the Bible that you have. And it must not have or use the same words, but they are on the same direction. Okay? So when you are done reading this scripture, you're going to pray on your money. And what is this scripture talking about? From your despair, from your difficulty, from your hardship. You are so desperate to get this need. And now you are crying out to the Lord. Oh Lord, listen to my call for help. Oh Lord, I call upon you for help. You are not a God that keeps record of our sins because if God decides to keep record, if God decides to start keeping record of my sin and your sin, nobody deserves blessing. He always forgives us. Oh Lord, I wait eagerly for you for my financial blessing. Always let God know that you are waiting upon him. You are waiting eagerly for him. That you don't have any other source or any other God. He is your only source of hope. Oh Lord, I wait eagerly for you like the watchman waits upon dawn because the watchman is always waiting for dawn for his job to end for that day. Oh Lord, I wait upon you. Now, this is your prayer with your own words. Oh Lord God, I come to you with my financial burden. I come to you with my financial crisis. I need urgent financial help. Oh Lord, I'm sorry for my sins. Do not keep record of all my sins and abuse of money and selfishness. I know all of these can keep me poor. You have never been a God that kept record of human sin. If not, nobody can survive because we are all sinners. You always forgive. Oh Lord, forgive me. And listen to my cry for help. Oh Lord, I cry for financial help. I cry for financial abundance. Send forth your angels to direct me, to push me to my helpers. Send forth helpers to my way. Bless my effort, O oh Lord. Let me receive financial miracle. I wait upon you, O oh Lord. I wait upon you in my despair, in my difficulty, in my lack, in my need, O oh Lord. You are still my only hope. Do not abandon me. Do not forsake me. Do not turn your back on me. Do not allow me to beg and borrow because you are my God. I wait upon you and I trust in you. I trust in your power. I trust in your help. You are a capable God. You are an able God. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because I know that 
You have answered my prayers and my miracle has been released. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen. Please use your words after reading the scripture. But your prayer must be based on what you have read. You are waiting upon God eagerly that God should show you mercy because if God decides to keep record of our sin, nobody deserves his help. Tell God that in your despair, in your difficulty, in your brokenness, in your wretchedness, in the poverty, you still cry to him for help. You trust in him. So while you are using your words, try to pick the words of the Lord in the Bible in Psalm 130. So now you are praying with the scripture you have read. Use your own fashion. Use the words in your own fashion. I'm not saying you should quote the Bible. After reading, you can now use your words to pray with the scripture as you hold your money. So when you are done, before you keep this in this scripture, Oh Lord, as I keep this money in Psalm 130, I receive financial miracle with speed in the name of Jesus. As I keep this money in Psalm 130, I receive financial miracle with speed in the name of Jesus. As I keep this money in Psalm 130, I receive financial miracle with speed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you keep it in that scripture and cover it up. Just let it be there for seven days. That does not mean that you will not read your Bible again. You can read other scriptures. Of course, there are people, they have different things in the Bible. At times, their requests, their names. Just turn past it and read your scripture. If you want to remove your money first, as you are reading, you can remove it. But immediately you are done, keep it back. Let it be there for seven days. Say this prayer just once. Just once. And keep the money there for seven days. And see how God will give you speedy financial miracles.